Okay, so here we are, have painted some fish, which is what we are going to work on today. Um, so this one is a king mackerel. And this one is tuna. And then this one is something I can't pronounce, which is an Acadian redfish. So apparently these are fish that are caught in the Atlantic Ocean um, here in the Crystal Coast. So let's go into the studio and let's create a fish. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do, but we'll figure it out when we get in there. We're going to do it is a wahoo. And here is, I've sort of drawn it. The lighting's not very good here, by the way, y'all. Um, let's look at the materials that I'm using. So I'm using uh, Aquarella watercolor paper. Um, I think it's a nine by 12. It's 140 pounds. I love this. Cause you know, it's on the, um, it's all, you know, when you do the water, it holds it down. I am using, these are a little pricey, but I do love them. They are um, handmade watercolors that I found them on Instagram. Um, it's ocean paper. They make them, I think, in Hawaii. But these two sets are the only ones that I have. Um, like I said, they're quite pricey. I wait till they go on sale, but they're so yummy thick. So let's get started. I always start with the face. So let's get started with the face. I apologize for the, the filming. It's kind of off kilter. Anyway, so I'm choosing to use watercolor instead of a watercolor pencil, which often you'll see me use for eyes. And I'm using the bl dark blue. You'll see later that I come back when it's dry and I add a little bit darker. And when you're adding color besides color on watercolor, you gotta be super careful. You got to intend for it to sort of merge together, which I was okay with here because it was light. It was a really light blue. So I sort of wanted it to have a little bit of light and dark. So I quickly get the fin in and use watercolor pencil to do the lines right there. And then I'll fill in that fin with some watercolor and get some water in there. I'm just going to show you my crazy workstation. It's on a table and there's lots of great light, but I had to pull out my light here. So here's my setup. I just have stuff everywhere. I almost have not my water on the floor. Okay, let's go into the screen. Okay, so here on the computer is the fish. So we've got the, um, the you know, some of it I'm kind of happy with. I'm happy about the top fins. I don't know what those things are called, but we're going to call them fins. Um, I'm happy with these. I think they, I ain't getting close. I think they're, you know, close enough. This is inspiration. This is all about in, uh, impressionism. Not, this is not a realistic fish. And I'm gonna work on with a colored pencil once this dries my tail. So I think now what I'm gonna work on is that top blue part that's like, you know, cobalt or aquamarine blue. So because these lovely, yummy past, um, colors, watercolors, don't really have that color, I am now going to pull out my Windsor & Newton. Can you see that? It's kind of blurry. Yeah, Windsor & Newton. Um, and I have my little... Um, guide up here and so here we go i think 
think I'm going to zero in on probably, probably that blue. I need to look and see what color that blue is. It's the... It's the third one over. So it's actually this one. So that's probably gonna be the one I use. All right, so let's go in and add that. So we're getting toward the end, I think. I'm just not sure if this is as dark as I want it to be because there's my inspiration picture. It's a little bit darker. I don't want to go too, too dark, um, but I got to get it where I want it to be before I did without, I didn't film this, um, but I did with this pencil, uh, color watercolor pencil, I got in some of this because you see the detail there. Alrighty, we finished. See where the eye, I went back and darkened up some of that, put a little color inside the fish's mouth, and there's where the blue and the white squiggle lines go down. I worked out some details with the tail so it's hard to paint and video. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a tough thing, especially when this will be my third fish that I've worked on trying to videotape and even some of it was out of the frame. I do apologize, you guys. I'm sure with more practice, I'm gonna get better at this. Anyway, here's the Wahoo. Despite the crazy, hopefully you had fun today. Follow me on social media at Kimby Originals and make sure you hit the subscribe button and see what crazy stuff we get into next week.